Cambodia is well known for its iconic temples and rich culture. But the country also has amazing waterfalls and beautiful pine forests. After spending the last two months of living in Phnom Penh, I wanted to share with you my trip visiting Cambodia's first national park. First, we stopped by Sancha for some food. They have everything from bagels to muffins and sandwiches. We definitely recommend coming here if you're looking for a more traditional Western breakfast. We got all these snacks for our road trip to Gahirum. I got a toasted double walnut bagel. nostalgic driving through Cambodia's countryside. It reminds me of the Cambodian karaoke's my parents would watch when I was growing up in America. At about five kilometers before the park entrance, we had lunch at this really cool spot, which was great for watching the scenery, relaxing, and eating. We had the cha grung ang kaip, which paired nicely with the soup mon ngam ngam. And then, we topped it off with some Jake Ang for dessert. Yep. Jake Ang, I'm Wilma. Before checking into our hotel, we drove up to the Jambok Waterfall right next to the National Park. I really love how they promote eco tourism here. The area is managed by local villagers and all revenues from tourists stay in the community to help them protect the forest. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes and drink lots of water on this 4 km hike. There are a total of 5 viewpoints of the waterfall, but we only made it up to the third stop and the view was breathtaking. a day trip to Karirong from Phnom Penh. But if you want to spend more time exploring the area, there are great options like the Karirong Hillside Resort, which is located just outside the National Park entrance. The bungalows are immersed in nature with lots of trees and plants all around. You can spend hours walking the resort or you can relax with free breakfast by the pool. Gari Rom stands for Happy Mountain and I was definitely happy to finally enter the park. One of the coolest experiences for me was the blessing we got in the national park. Over 95% of Cambodians are Buddhists and it is customary for them to provide an offering and ask for protection when visiting a mountain like this one. This is the Ye Mao site who is considered the protector of this mountain. We also got a blessing and yarn bracelets from the Aja. Oh 
剧。Our destination, Tatleti Bay Tuo Toi E, which is near Wat Cha. It is located about 15 kilometers from the park entrance, and it does cost an additional 3,000 rios to enter. Even though the translation says waterfall, this area is more of a mountain stream, and it's a perfect location for a photo op. There are bungalow shacks where you can eat and relax by the stream. Many locals come here to take a dip in the water as well. Garirom was such a beautiful getaway from the city. It was so great to be around nature and to explore Cambodia's first national park. I'm a huge fan of how serene it is and I can't wait to visit again. Maybe I'll bring our motorbike and go camping next time. So if you enjoyed this video, then check out my other food and travel playlists. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more places to explore in Cambodia. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell to get the latest videos. Akon and Jamriblia!